This is for Alicia. Um, I understand that the UT libraries and other libraries in the country are gathering and archiving their communities' experiences of the pandemic. How does that fit within the archives' mission? Well, yeah, um, what I like to say is that we don't wait until history is made to uh, record it and archive it. And so things that are happening today are historical. And so that we have to make sure that we're, you know, gathering that information from, like Laura was saying, that microcosm of history. Well, for me, it's our campus. You know, we didn't have that many letters and, and student um, responses to the Spanish flu. So I knew at the onset of this pandemic that I really wanted to make an effort to capture the campus community's um, feelings and viewpoints about what was happening so that, you know, people could look at this down the road and say, oh, well, I really have a really good perspective on that. And so what we did was create an easy um, form, a couple questions that asked the students, staff and faculty, how they feel, how they're coping, how their home life is, how is it to take all your classes online? Um, are you going to take a gap year? Different things like that. And they can also submit their creative work. So we've had students um, submit artwork and poems that they that help them um, kind of navigate what they're feeling during this time. And so I think that is going to be very important for us to have, you know, 100 years from now. Um, and so we have over we have a couple hundred responses so far. And we're still collecting them. We will continue to collect them. Um, and then you can also donate multiple times. We asked, we started that last semester in the spring, right on the onset of sending every, uh, that um, spring break when most of our campus community and students um, were asked to stay home with the shelter in place order. So, and we're gonna continue to um, collect that through the next year. Yeah, it's an important project and we, we very much encourage everybody to to um, their experience if you can. Great. Yeah, and your um, unique individual experience is important. Yeah. So a lot of people think like, nobody cares what I'm doing at home during quarantine, but people want to know. And that's the thing that I was asked frequently, what were people doing during the Spanish flu? And so I really only had the larger newspaper articles and public notices that were happening at the time, other than the few letters we had from our students, we only had about 500 students on campus at that point. So, um, you know, it was a little bit tougher. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we have this to preserve on into the future. So, you know, if you're staying at home, you're learning how to bake sourdough or you're doing things like that, that's a trend. People are going to want to know that um, and see how kind of how we're making it through. 